Creating a panoramic image can be fun and easy. I took these images myself on the Cliffs of Moher in Ireland, so they're not copywritten. Well, they are to me, but they're, you're more than welcome to use them for this exercise. And what I did was I stood on an opposing cliff and took a picture, pivoted, took another picture, pivoted, took another picture, pivoted, and took a final picture. And we're going to sew all four of these images together into one large panoramic image. To do that, you select the File menu and Automate and Photo Merge. On this particular one, I've played with it a couple of times. I like the spherical, spherical option the best, but you really sort of have to try it in each and see what makes you happiest. And I'm going to add my open files. And I'm going to go ahead and check all the options down at the bottom. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to watch it do its magic. That gives me a nice sewn together image, giving you the whole perspective of that side of the Cliffs of Moher, which I was lucky enough to get on a beautiful day, which almost never, ever happens. My next step is going to be to crop this the size that I want. And basically what I want to do is I want to get the best portion of the images in here without cutting anything off. I don't want any of the transparent bits. Yep, like that. Okay, so now you have options for what to do with this. This one I'm actually going to print up as a gift for my husband. So I'm going to want to go into the file I'm sorry, image, image size. And I'm going to want to resample the image and I want it printed as high of quality as possible. I'm going to resample it to 300 pixels per inch. And since this is for printing, I would then file Save As and I would save a JPEG copy for this for where I'm going to have it printed. Call it Cliffs. Hit, I want to save it um, on my desktop. Yep, I'm going to replace it. I practiced. I already did this once. And because I'm going to be sending this out to be printed, I'm sending it out in the highest possible options. So if I was printing it for the internet, which I'll do in a second, I would use different settings. If I want to save this for the internet, and I would choose File, Save for Web. We'll give it a shot. It's always a risk. When I'm saving for Web, I'm going to save it down to about 20% of the size because this was going to be huge. So I'm going to save it to 20%. Quality 30, and let's take a look at that. Let's hit preview. That's still pretty big. Quality is 15, non-progressive. That's still bigger than I want it to be. So I can go ahead and escape out of that. Close that window. So I want it even smaller, so instead I'm going to change it to 10%. I'm going to preview. There we go because that will be the perfect banner for my Facebook page. So I now have made good use of those four images that I took on a beautiful day 
which you almost never get at the Cliffs of Moher.